Welcome back to Rishi on Demand. So today we're going to do a fall decor haul. I've been purchasing some things for fall because if you live in the southern part of the United States, particularly the Gulf Coast, Louisiana, Alabama, Mississippi, Florida, any of those areas, it's been hot here since like February. <laughs> So, I'm ready for fall. I'm ready to put out my fall decor. Another reason I'm ready to put out my fall decor is because Christmas is such a huge deal to me, you guys. Like, I normally decorate for Christmas November 1st. And then I just take a week break for Thanksgiving. Like, Keith thinks it's ridiculous, but that's just how I am. Anyway, so today we're going to haul some pieces that I picked up. Some affordable decor pieces. I know that you can order things online and you could go to like more expensive places to get more specialty items. But um, I just wanted to show you guys that you can decorate your home very affordably if you frequent these places. So we have some things from Hobby Lobby. We have some things from Big Lots. And we also have some things from the Dollar Tree. Now I do want to hit up um, Michael's and one other place michael's and like marshall's or ross um but i just haven't had time to do that because i work full time of course if you're new here thanks so much for stopping by my name is ashley and i do videos on my family with my fiance and our age gap relationship and we also do like some fun challenges here and there so if you're liking our content definitely click the link down below and consider subscribing we'd love to have you and if you're back because you're an oldie but a goodie thanks so much for coming back Let's get started. So the first store is going to be Hobby Lobby. The first thing I got was this table runner. Um, I like the color. It's orange, but it's like a burnt orange. I'm not sure if it's coming up on camera, but it's like a burnt orange rather than like a vibrant like pow in your face orange. And I got this for our dining room table. Um, the areas that I'll be decorating this year are our dining room table. We have a buffet over there and then our mantle. And then we'll also put a couple pieces outside, maybe on the door and things like that. And that's pretty much going to be it. Um, we would decorate more things, but of course our house is in construction still but anyway here's the table runner i will be using um and after i haul everything i will show y'all maybe in another video or a vlog how i put everything together in the house was 5.99 but when i went to hobby lobby everything that was fall decor related was 40 percent off so what's whatever 40 percent off of 5.99 is three dollars and some change 419 I think it's 419 I don't know correct me if I'm wrong I have an accounting degree not a math degree so I don't know next things I picked up are these two jars I'm gonna use these as vases 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 <laughs> for the table I currently have two vases on vases I don't know I currently have two on my table now with spring flowers in it but I thought these were really cute to use for fall because they are a green and an orange color these were $7.99 and again 40% off I just like they're really cute they are glass so they will last longer than one year which was my goal for picking pieces this year was things that I would be able to put up and use again not so much like paper things that could get messed up by putting them up and taking them down. So I got both of these. They were $7.99 each at 40% off. Next thing from Hobby Lobby was this beautiful glittery pumpkin. Y'all, I'm a girly girl through and through and I loved how glittery the accents were on this pumpkin. Do I think I'm gonna have glitter everywhere after handling it? Yes, <laughs> but I just thought it was really beautiful. It's wood it's like a wood material um and it is it was 11.99 at 40 percent off so i just thought it was really pretty the next thing i got was this owl and um it actually has a space here in the back for like a tea candle or um, something like that. I'm not sure if I'll put a tea candle in it or not because I do have some other things that light up and I just don't know if I want the hassle of having to blow out a tea candle every night. Um, I know they have those, um, what are those plastic fake tea candles? Maybe I'll get some of those. Um, talk to Keith about it. But um, I just thought this was so beautiful. 
it's white with gold accents um if you've been following along in our wedding journal you know i love gold and rose golds so i just really like this I'm, i was glad it wasn't like brown i was glad it was white it kind of reminds me of um hedgewick is it that harry potter's owl's name y'all i really love harry potter but i haven't watched the entire series in a really long time I kind of let adulting get to me but it kind of reminds me of Hedwig, right anyway this was 11.99 and it also was from Hobby Lobby at 40% off the reason I'm telling you all the prices is because it's an affordable haul I bought my entire order from Hobby Lobby cost me $60 and my entire order from Dollar Tree was like $12 which is nothing and from Big Lots I think it was like $30 but caveat i did buy something a little expensive at big lots it was 25 dollars and keith bought it for me so maybe it would have been 50 dollars if i would have bought it all together but just like so the next thing i got at hobby lobby are these um leaves i'm also going to use these on my table and i'll show y'all how i put it all together in another video this was 12.99 at 40 percent off and there's so many of them that i thought it was a very good buy um, I love the color of these. I love the reds and the, the ombre color on each individual leaf. I just thought it was really well made. It is put together with like a plastic um, like vine, but um, I'm hoping that it will last more than this year. Um, I just thought this was better than buying like the individual packs of loose leaves and scattering them everywhere because they may fall off the table and get everywhere, get vacuumed up or ate up by our dog. So, um, yeah another reason that i was really big on not getting things to have a lot of fall apart pieces and stuff is because we have a dog and i don't want him to accidentally eat anything i mean when you have pets you have to be really particular you know you got pets you got kids you gotta be particular so yeah this is the next thing i bought from hobby lobby oh the next things i bought from hobby lobby are these two pumpkins they are white and gold and they both say blessed on them you know too blessed to be stressed um i thought these were very pretty i picked these up at the very last minute we were actually standing in checkout and i picked up these two um pumpkins they they are the robert stanley signature collection also from hobby lobby they were 5.99 each and of course they had that gold look and i just thought these were really pretty so I got two of them, also at 40% off. So if it, they're still doing that, I would highly recommend going to Hobby Lobby and seeing, cause I mean, for all I know, it could be a better deal now. So the next thing I got were these two pumpkins. I'm just gonna show y'all one up close. This is um, just a, it's not quite white. It's like a off-white beige color and i just thought it was really pretty this was 6.99 and it lights up it has a little thing to light up on the bottom it doesn't light up now because i haven't pulled the tab out of it but it does light up and i just thought this was really really pretty to have in the house and i got two of them i try to stay away from like the traditional orange pumpkins that's just not my style i like the um off white and the whites and even like some greens and blues i do have a couple of orange items obviously because it's thanksgiving halloween time um mostly in what i got from big lots to decorate for specifically halloween there are some orange and black things but as far as the pumpkins i kind of wanted to stick with more of a cream color scheme the next thing I got from Hobby Lobby is this mug. It says, I love fall a latte. I <laughs> thought it was so cute. Um, it's, the, it's one of the very first things I picked up actually when I walked in the store um, because I, I love coffee, true enough. However, I am a big, big, big hot apple cider and chai tea, ginger tea drinker in the fall i love a hot cup of tea specifically in the fall and winter time and i just thought this mug was so 
huge and beautiful it's microwave safe dishwasher safe it was $9.99 it's a 26 ounce mug which I probably oh lord 26 ounces anyway I probably had to brew two hot apple cider cake cups to fill this but I just thought this was um so cute when we walked in so that's what it says I love fall a latte so cute I think that's everything I got from Hobby Lobby, so let's move on to Big Lots. At Big Lots, I got this pumpkin again. It is like a pumpkin cutout. It's made of wood. It was $4 at Big Lots. It's a decorative plaque, and it says sweater weather. If you're a Bath & Body Works fan like I am, um, you know that sweater weather is a scent from Bath & Body Works in their candles. I don't know if they have it in other things because I'm really big on their candles. Um... And I had the sweater weather candle, so I just thought it was really cute. And of course, it is white. It does have the orange writing on it, but again, it is white because that's the color scheme I'm going for, and it was $4. Next thing I got from Big Lots are these tea towels. They are like decorative towels for your kitchen. This is more of a Halloween, of course, um, decor item. It's from the brand gothic glamour they had a lot of gothic glamour things at big lots this year and they weren't finished putting everything out so i'm assuming that that's going to be the big push this year and they had a lot of cute items like if you're really into the gothic dark decor in general not just in creepy stuff i thought it was really cute i'm sure it probably creeped keith out or whatever but i just loved it but i didn't want to feel like I didn't want to have too much stuff and we don't really have a lot of surface areas to decorate on so I didn't just want it to be like a cluster of stuff. So I have these and this one says um, till death do us part and I thought it was really cute because Keith and I are getting married in less than two months. And then um, the other one is, there's two of them and the, the other one is just all these like skeleton keys and things like that. I just thought it was really, really cute. Kind of like a gothic play on you have the key to my heart. I don't know, I just thought it was really cute. So these were $6 at Big Lots. The thing I got at Big Lots is not decor related, but it is fall related. It is the Green Mountain Keurig Hot Apple Cider K-Cups. I can only find the Hot Apple Cider K-Cups this time of year, so I normally stock up because who knows, you know, in the springtime you might wanna have a nice cup of hot apple cider, you know? You might, I do. And they are $3 for six K-Cups, so that's 50 cents a K-Cup. I don't know if that's expensive or not, but I thought it was a good price, so I picked up, I don't know, like six or seven of them, however many were on the shelf. That's what, how many I picked up, and um, I just love these things. Everybody in my family knows I love them, so when they see them, they get them for me as well. So I picked that up. In addition to that, since we're talking about coffee-related things, I did pick up this Green Mountain um, caramel vanilla cream flavored coffee um the k-cups and i have tried one for my coffee the other day at work it was delicious and i have the reason this box is open is because i went ahead and opened them and put some in my little jar that i keep by our coffee maker but yeah i thought this was a great value it was 32 k-cups for 15.99 so pick that up my next big lots purchase is this pumpkin it is like a mint green with of course gold accent and it says gift thanks i thought this was so beautiful it's so shiny it's made of glass so as long as it's taken care of it will last um it is i'm sorry it's ceramic it's not glass and it was ten dollars at big lots and i just thought this was so beautiful i just thought it was so different in my opinion than your typical fall decor it was more of a glamorous you know girly take on it so i picked up this pumpkin and again it was ten dollars at big lots okay and the next thing we got from big lots is another pumpkin this one i thought was like so funny it's like a in my opinion it's a black jack-o-lantern but it was kind of like in a goofy way i don't know the way the smile it looks kind of like goofy the smile says eek so it's supposed to be spooky but it kind of looks funny to me so i bought it and it does light up like that and um i just thought it was really cute and this is also from big lots and it was six dollars 
know, maybe I spent more with gloss than I thought. Maybe I spent like 30 something dollars, not 20 something dollars. I don't know. The last thing that we got from Big Lots. The last thing we got from Big Lots. I loved this <laughs> so much, but I could not make myself spend the money for it. It was $25. And um, I just didn't want to spend that much for it. Um, but I loved it so much. And my honey bun, my sweet husband-to-be, decided to get it for me. I would turn it on. But <laughs> it makes noise. And it lights up. And it does it for a really long time. <laughs> so I don't want to turn it on. I'll turn it on in the vlog, but literally it lights up and makes all these spooky noises, and I thought it was really, really cool. It was $25 at Big Lots. Um, it's again part of that gothic glamour line, and I just thought this was really, really pretty and um, very spooky-esque in a great way. Um, and I'm not gonna turn it on, <laughs> but just know it does light up. It does light up and it does make a lot of noise, and. But it does it for a long time, so we just I'm gonna show y'all another time. But this is the last thing we got from Big Lots, and that concludes everything we got from Big Lots. Next, we're gonna move on to Dollar Tree. I got a few items from Dollar Tree, not nearly a lot. Of course, everything at the Dollar Tree was a dollar, so I don't feel like I need to keep telling you that it was a dollar. It came from the Dollar Tree, so it was a dollar. <laughs> okay. Um, Dollar Tree are these faux flowers. I get mostly all of my faux flowers from the Dollar Tree. I just don't see a reason to spend more money than a dollar per you know bouquet because i know that i can get them from the dollar tree and they're faux flowers and they serve the purpose that they're meant to serve which is decor um i got four for each of those vases that i showed you so basically it would be this vase vase with some flowers in it um i got four for each one so of course that was eight dollars total for this whole bouquet of flowers i got this little decorative plaque it says thankful grateful blessed and it is uh, pink it is orange and white but the white the writing is kind of ir iridescent i don't know if y'all can see that on camera but it does have glitter on it and i'm sure i'm going to get glitter everywhere because it's from the dollar tree so it's probably not the best quality but of course i mean i thought it was really cute and i'm not going to be handling it on a daily basis it's going to be put up as decor it's gonna be put up as decor and that's pretty much it. I don't know why this dress keeps falling off my shoulder, but yeah. So I got that from the Dollar Tree. And the last thing I got from the Dollar Tree are these three pumpkins again with my chic fall thought process. I don't know if it's gonna to come together the way I think it is in my head, but we're gonna try, okay? I got three of them, one short one and two tall ones to kind of put in like a cluster. And of course these are a dollar each. And that's pretty much everything I got. Um, this video feels like it's gonna be really, really long, but that's everything I got decor wise. I, like I said, I do wanna go to Michael's and either Ross Marshalls or TJ Maxx if I have time, cause I, will, I would love to have like some twinkly lights and things to weave through everything. Um, so yeah, thanks so much for joining me. This is just a small, um part of what you i mean i feel i got a lot of stuff and i think i've spent less than a hundred dollars even if i spent 30 something dollars at big lots 60 dollars yeah so less than a hundred dollars or right at a hundred dollars and i got all this decor so you can decorate your house around the holidays at these particular stores for a very affordable price if you can spare of course you can pick up less things or more things than i did um for your particular needs i'm only really decorating this front area I, our bathroom is too tiny to put anything else in there as far as de decor is concerned. Um, oh, sorry. I did pick up one more item from Big Lots. It is this um, outdoor yard steak. It says home sweet home in some fall decor colors. The guy at Dollar Tree did say that these will weather away. The paint on them will weather away if you don't protect it with like a clear spray paint or something. Keith was saying he might just put it in the window instead of going through the hassle of all of that. Um, but yeah, I don't know how I almost forgot that. A dollar. Okay, now we're done. <laughs> That's everything I got for my fall decor haul this time around. I don't know if I'll pick up more pieces or not, but I just wanted to show y'all what I got. And thanks so much for stopping by. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to leave a comment down below, like if you like, and share it with someone who also loves fall time and decor. 
and consider joining our joining our tribe down below thanks so much for joining me see you next time bye